Hi folks, Bradley J here in Vermont, Eastern Vermont. Recently I've gotten into just driving through these really cool small towns in Vermont. And right now we're in Bellows Falls. I was here less than a week ago and liked it so much I actually came back and went to the little cafe right behind me. And I thought I'd show you what a little town in Vermont looks like. You ready? Let's go. We're in the Wyndham Antiques shop in Bellows Falls, Vermont. And I'm told there's a gentleman named Elijah here who knows a lot about this town. So Elijah, tell me about Bellows Falls, Vermont. So Bellows Falls had start with the Abenaki people um, many hundreds of years ago. Uh, they considered this a sacred site with the Great Falls of the Connecticut River. Um, there's a very narrow gorge, uh, the narrowest point in the Connecticut, uh, where the river goes over a 50-foot falls through the solid rock. And they visited here uh, for you know, ceremonial um, gatherings and uh, hunting and fishing. And they created a series of petroglyphs carved into the side of the, um, the falls into the rock. Uh, which we still can see today. And then this became an important uh, crossing point in the late 18th century when there was a, the first bridge built over the Connecticut River. And then a few years later, in the 1790s, they started building the Bellows Falls Canal uh, to open the Connecticut River to, um, to trade by boat. And that continued until about the late 1840s when they constructed the railroad and uh, became a big railroad town. It was an important intersection of several important railroads. And then eventually they started to realize that there was a great deal of uh, water power here that could be harnessed to produce paper. And they actually had log drives to bring the logs down the river. And this was actually the first place where they discovered they could make paper from wood pulp. Uh, so our, our modern day paper made from wood pulp was invented here in Bellows Falls in the mid 19th century. And who lives here now? Today we have a lot of uh, artisans and artists who have made it their home. Um, a lot of people who have discovered the, the unique natural and historic beauty of the community and have um, created a sort of perhaps an alternative lifestyle. Um, and we also have a lot of uh, downtown shops and merchants who are still here. Um, we have a beautiful old downtown which is listed on the National Register of Historic Places as a historic district. It seems like a really wonderful place to live. It is a wonderful place, very walkable. Um, there's lots of small businesses, you know, within easy walking distance, uh, lots of old historic homes. And it's a great place for families and uh, people with children. And it's very affordable also. Well, there you go. If you're a person who likes to travel, but really don't feel comfortable getting on the plane to go internationally, due to safety reasons or even just hassle reasons, driving trips to places like Bellows Falls, Vermont, might be a real good option for you. I know they work for me. I really feel like I've been somewhere when I come to a spot like this. I'll talk to you soon.